Okay. Now there was a question in June 2018. It was a part D question. Okay. So A1 was given and An is like this. So again it will behave like An plus 1 will be behave like 1 upon 2. An plus 2 upon mod An when n is e1 and because it is minus 1 to the power n is given here and a n plus 1 b will be behaving like 1 upon n minus 1 upon n when a n plus 2 upon mod a n when n is odd. Now from this I will get the limb sub because these all will be positive terms and from this I will get the limb in because all of these will be the negative terms. So, if you just try to find the limit, so again I will do the process for iterative process which we have discussed in the uh, conceptual video. So, if n tends to infinity, I am taking a n is equals to l. So, if you just put the values here, so a n plus 1 for n e1, a n plus 1 is equals to 1 by 2 a n mod plus 2 upon mod a n. So, it will be L equals to 1 by 2 L plus 2 by L. Yeah. So, if you solve this, you will get L equals to root 2. So, this is the limb sub of the this equation. Hai na? So, this is the limb sub because it will it is the value of L. It is L. So, the first option is correct. Hai na? Supremum is not root 2. Hai na? Supremum may be changed, but the limb sub of this thing will be root 2. Now, what about the limit? We will find the limit from here. So, it will be L equals to minus 1 by 2 and L plus 2 upon mod L. So, when you will solve it, you will get minus 2. This is the limb inf of the sequence, but it says limb, second option says limb inf is minus infinity. So, it is incorrect. Limit of an is root 2. It is also incorrect. Why it is incorrect? Because limb sub is different and limb inf is different. So, that limit can't be uh, reached to root 2 because it is reaching differently by a whole limb sub. It is different, limb inf it is different. So, the limit can't be root 2. So, that's why option 1 will be correct here. Okay. Then there was a question again in June 2018. Uh, it is this. Uh, Repeated question. So there was a question. Uh, this is repeated. So there was a question in December 2018. It was a part C question. Uh, so it says uh, P and denote the nth prime. It is not n minus. It is n nth. Nth prime. When we enumerate the prime number n, uh, the increasing order. For example, means what is the first prime? Two. What is the second prime? It is three. Third prime is four, and so on. Then it de uh, defines a set such that where it includes Sn, where Pn plus 1 minus Pn means next prime minus the previous prime. And you just find the difference and it makes a sequence for you and the set of all the elements. Then which one of these is true? Now, what are our primes? See, these are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and so on. You can see the difference increases with time and, and when we go the larger numbers there will be a, the difference will tends to infinity and it will be very large distance between two prime numbers so the distance tends to zero means pn plus one minus pn it tends to infinity i will say that for large prime numbers the distance will also become large and it keeps increasing so it tends to infinity as n tends to infinity so, the supremum of this will also be infinity. Hai na? First option correct. As the supremum is infinity, so the limb sub, hai na? the limits of the supremums will also go to infinity. So, it is correct. Now, what is the infimum? Infimum is the least number. So, the least number for this is this 3 minus 2, which is equals to 1. So, 1 is the infimum of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So, the option 3 says the same thing, infimum of f is less than infinity and it is equals to 1. So, the option 3 is also correct. Now, it is saying lim inf of Sn. Sn means the difference. So, when you will find the difference for all of them, so it 
limit for this so it will again be this thing it will be keep increasing and the minimum value of this lim in see there is a difference between infimum of s the set s and there is also a difference between the lim inf of all the essence you know? so for, when you will find this for the sequence sn sequence sn will be just the difference of all these numbers you know? it will be greater than or equal to 2 so that's why here option 4 is also correct now there was a question in december 2019 it was a part b question means only option 1 is correct we will try to do this question by n counter example so we can define a sequence like uh, 1 upon n when n is even say let's say and it is n when n is odd. now you can see the uh, infimum of x n lim inf and not infimum lim inf will come from this and it tends to zero so it satisfies the first condition but limit of x n is square actually x n is square is not defined here na? because it will change na? So there will be no limit for this x n square so this is not necessarily zero incorrect but if the supremum is zero means the highest value is zero because here the supremum was something so it can be true it cannot be so i am not saying anything about option 2 i am moving to option 3 now if lim inf is equals to 0 again this uh, counter example may work lim inf of this xn is 0 because n tends to infinity 1 upon n tends to 0 then xn is bounded you can say it is n means the values will be 1 2 3 4 uh, means 1 3 5 7 and when n is odd so this is not a bounded sequence so again this is not satisfied this is counter example discarded this option now the last option is limit infimum of limit of xn square is greater than or equals to 4 then lim in supremum of xn is greater than or equal to 4 now we can think of an another example for this and you can think it like 5 by 2 uh, i'm just taking an example uh, so that the square of this term I will take the example so that the square of this term should be greater than 4 you know, because this is my given condition. I know the square of this will be 25 by 4 which is greater than 4. So I am taking example in such a way you know, when n is let's say even and now I am think now I will think something uh, which should be against the this option. You know? So the limbs of should be less than 4 now I will think for this. Now I am thinking let's say uh, 1, okay, 1 plus I will say, I am saying 3 plus 1 upon n let's say, na? when n is old. So now you can find the limit will come from here because it, it will give you the lower values and it is greater than 4 so the first condition given condition is satisfied here but 3 plus 1 upon n as n tends to infinity it will be the it will be the higher term and the limb supremum will be something like 3 you know? so which is less than 4 so this is not correct so option 4 is also not correct and when i have discarded three options 1 3 and 4 so the which option will be correct obviously the second options will be correct so when you can't directly find the correct option what you can do you can just try to discard the options it is very useful in part b question also you can try to discard the option if you can discard three options then the fourth option will always be correct there is one more question so for each natural number n greater than equals to one a sequence is given like this where this bracket x is the smallest integer greater than or equal to n you know, which of the following statement is true now the a n here is given like n divided by 10 to the power log 10 base n you know. so now everything is in terms of 10 so uh, what we can do we can take n equals to 10 to the power something k you know, in powers of 10 how this is going to help me this will be 10 to the power k divided by 10 to the power log 10 base 10 to the power k when you will simplify you will get 10 to the power k the way k will come here and it will be 10 to the power k equals to 1 so it, this is for the case when n equals to 10 to the power k 
Now I'll take a term which is 10 to the power k plus r, a little bit bigger than 10 to the power k. So what will happen now? Now the things will change. The now here a n will be 10 to the power k plus r because it is n, and here it will give you 10 to the power log 10, and in place of r it will give 10 k, है ना? So 10 to the power k plus r. So actually it will give you a value. I am writing it here. It will give you a value of a n will become 10 to the power k plus r upon 10 to the power k plus 1 when you will simplify this. So it will give you 1 upon 10 plus r to the power 10 k plus 1. And as you know, so these will be the two values. So when n belongs to, so, so the highest value will come from here. You know? So this will give you the supremum or limb sub and tends to infinity of a n. You know? And when you take n tends to infinity here, it will give you the inf limb inf. As n tends to infinity means as k tends to infinity. So this term will be equals to tends to 0 and the limb inf will be 1 upon 10. So based on this, let's see which option is correct. A limb inf it says is 0, so this option is incorrect. It says limb inf does not exist, so this option is also incorrect. Limb inf is 0 0.15, no, this option is also incorrect. Now, uh, I, I just took an example and uh, this all these three options are incorrect. So, which option will be correct? Option 4 will be correct, which also satisfied my uh, solution. Okay. So, these were the questions based on uh, limbs of and Levin. For other uh, PYQs and conceptual videos, please visit the playlist of real analysis, join our telegram. If you like the video, do like it. Uh, if you liked the video, please tell us in comment how was the video. If you want to give some suggestions, please tell us. And please ask your friends to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,